Hi there. So over the years, I've found that the two biggest obstacles for educators to create digital learning content is one time, a huge lack of time. And secondly, a lack of creative confidence. So while design skills and creative confidence can be built and developed, again, it goes back to that first issue of not having enough time. So that's why I think this AI empowered app called Gamma could be a very useful tool in your teaching toolbox. So let's take a look. First of all, I'm just going to quickly sign in with the, with my Google account. And um, once I'm in, there's some tips and tricks here, but I'm just going to dive straight into this feature called new with AI. So there's an option to import existing content, but I want to use this tool new with AI. It's given me an option of having a guided approach or an, an immediate text to deck option. So I'm going to go with the guided approach. And it's given me the option here of whether I want to create a presentation, a document or a web page. So I can see the benefit here for me as an educator in rapidly creating content, but I can also see a use case for students to get them creating content either individually or collaboratively in a very quick way. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to choose the presentation option. And then it's going to ask me in any language I can type uh, what I want to create. Now, for me, I always have this pretty dry topic of um, learning theories. And because this is an AI tool, a conversational AI tool, it wants me to give it as much information as possible. So I want um, a short presentation on the top five learning theories um, with images and examples. Okay. It depends on the topic, but again, the more information you can give it, the better product you'll have at the end. So I'm just going to click enter and it's going to present some ideas. Okay, so it's going to give me an introduction, sounds about right, behaviorism, cognitivism, constructivism, humanism, connectivism, and a conclusion. That sounds fine to me. Um, actually, maybe I want to add an extra, um, an extra topic in there called um, supporting tech tools for each theory. Let's see what it comes up with there. Okay, so continue. If I just move myself over to the left here, while that's thinking about and, and generating this presentation, I've got the option here of on the right of picking a theme. So what theme best meets um, my desired outcome? So I can pick anything here that knowing that I can ad adapt it slightly once it's been generated. Okay, so the different options there. Actually, that's quite nice. Okay, and the completion bar is almost to the end here. I can hear it's using a bit of processing power. The processor fan is, is kind of going quite fast there. But I'm going to hit continue. And let's see what we get. Okay, so it took a little bit of time to generate. But um, it's still I'm still under the five minute mark, I think. Um, and it's given me an overview here of different theories um it looks to be okay uh, i can click and uh, change the different images so i think if i click here i can edit the image um, and it's connected to a, a bing um, web search so i can choose a different appropriate image i think the consideration here is that it's scraping the web so you know, a consideration around copyright might be um, appropriate. Okay, so I can play around there and, and eventually get something that I'm happy with. Um, I just need to double check the accuracy of the content that's being created, of course. This is obviously one of the first things we do with any AI-generated content is check how accurate it is. 
and if I click present here, it's going to give me a presentation that is good to go. Okay, and once I'm happy with it, I can adjust the theme if I want to change the visual, or I can share it by sharing the link, embedding it into a learning management system or a, a web, existing website, um, exporting as a PDF, and obviously the link can be dropped into um, tools such as Padlet, etc. cetera, um, if it's a resource that you want to share. There's some analytics with it also. Okay, so this is how we can create very quick digital learning content with just a little bit of guidance. Now, there's one final thing I should say is that it uses a credit system. So once you sign up, you have something like 400 credits and you can get more credits by referring people or adding credits, which uh, I've just been on a referral um, kind of approach at the moment how many credits does it cost so if you're using ai generated content it costs 40 credits per document deck or web page and if you want the ai to do any further editing it's 10 credits so you can set something up quite quickly and easily you can use this for other purposes as well um i'll create a separate video about how to use this to generate a e-portfolio but again, this is just a quick example of how you can develop digital learning content, whether it be for presentations, resources, websites, in a very quick um, time frame. Okay, so I hope you got value from this video. Please let me know your thoughts.